back to the game again. We had a very fruitful last time we played, so... <sighs> I'm just here to take it easy tonight. Here. Dragon Egg. Uh. Hmm. Magical bow, huh? Just like that. We're taking it a bit easy for now. I suppose it's time to cut down some trees and gather some wood, though. I thought I had a diamond axe around here somewhere the kind of thing I would like to remember. Ah, oh, there it was. Probably useful. Unbreaking too, of course. Hmm. I need a stone axe if I've got one of these, right? And I don't really need the dark gray wool. Might as well grab my walking around tools. Here, I'm unbreaking one. Hmm. I could do some farming, or I could build something interesting today. But I think for now I'm just going to be doing some tree cutting. Some logging, as it were. not doing anything super strenuous today, I just wanted to uh, take it easy as I've had an uncomfortable headache for the most of my day, so I thought I could relax and I should turn my desktop audio up a little bit, huh? That's probably okay where it is now, I think. I do wish there was a way to render the cursor. I'm still running to that issue where I don't I can't see my cursor when I play. So my plan for now is to be using uh, this wood to make into sticks so that I can begin trading more with the merchants for even more um, emeralds and eventually I can even buy myself diamond armor. Oh, 
Welcome everyone. I hope you're having a good night so far. This is uh, more of a chill stream than usual. I'm not. I'm not very high energy today, but I hope you two are having a good night. Oh well. Thank you for the follow. Your mommy dot <laughs> We're not too far in. I mean, well, I suppose we are fairly far in. We managed to defeat the Elder Dragon last stream. Um, that was actually my first time ever clearing the fight. Um, but I took a little bit of an Agrian approach to my current society here. Where we've been planning out farming for as much as we can. That's what I enjoy doing in Minecraft. Just having things to do that might not be important or challenging, but they are working towards a goal. Yeah, I've got a couple uh, a couple around here. A couple of the people who are on the server managed to... Um... <laughs> yeah, it was surprisingly difficult. Uh, me and one other person from the server went and did it. Um... But yeah... Uh... What was I going on about? A couple of people have built some pretty impressive structures so far. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, we've got a monster spawner. We found a uh, spider spawner underground. I need to replant these. Give me saplings. Um... So we managed to have a couple different ways to do things. We can craft, we can farm, but uh, the really impressive part is one of my... I don't know how to do this myself, one of the server members built this double... Um, yeah, so if you take a look at the bottom of the screen there, there should actually be a schedule. Let me take a look at it, make sure it's currently online. Um, yeah, in, in the schedule section, although that is unfortunately... Not the right time for that one here. I will need to change that very quickly. <laughs> uh, I don't actually stream from 12 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Fridays. Um, and all these times are in PST, if you weren't aware. Um, but yeah. Oh, hey, Willie. Hey, Nananchi. Hope your nights are going well so far. Um decided to take it easy. I'm, I'm not... I've had a bit of a headache in the day, so I've been taking it on the easier side for now. Oh, thank you for the follow, Red1442. Let me... let me figure out how to make this go back. Should be enough sticks to trade with the Fletcher. Which one of you is the Fletcher? Yeah, thank you. It's not too bad. I'm fairly okay with it. He needs more. Alright, I can oblige him. Where'd you go? Oh, he needs even more. There you go. We've got a couple villagers in here who could use um, a workstation as well, but I don't know what workstation to give these guys. He even wants more, huh? That's a lot of wood he's consuming. Oh, not you. There we go. 
gave me 30, 30 emeralds worth of uh, sticks. That's pretty good. And then I can turn around and spend those on something, or I'll stash them. Okay, how do I get out? Where's the door? Over here. I hear a zombie make a noise, but I'm going to admit I don't know where it is. Maybe he's in the um, alchemy room. So it's what? One, two, three? Okay, one, two, three. Let's go take a look. Oh. I forgot there was this little cave under here with a couple of iron golems in it. Where's the zombie? Yeah, so I got a decent amount of emeralds from that uh, one little exchange. So let's go do some farming for emeralds now. Alright. Um, where did I put my emeralds? What chest were they in? This chest? Did I put them outside? I don't know. Yeah, there they are. Um... drop off most of the crap I know I won't need. Um, we can get to... I'll oh, keep the shovel. The axe. The sword can go. Same thing with melons. I'll see we'll do mel we'll do melons first. Actually, while I'm here, I'll extend the melon farm. Why not? Just need some more dirt. Placing some down and extending our little melon farm out. We do this because melons are more valuable than um, pumpkins, or at least I think so. instead of uh, pressing the shift key to crouch. Uh -huh. But yeah, I, got, I had a pretty good time playing some Eternal Re Return Black Survival the other day, and I want to go back to it soon, but I'm trying to stick with Minecraft Mondays for now. Go. 
about her. Probably do it. No, I need another 16, most likely. Give you, I'll give you a bit of, bit of a tired one, but all right, here we go. It's a fun. I, I enjoy having that one on there. It's a fun one to. Um, have people redeem, which means I get to do it. <laughs> so I'm still using the same uh, music pack as before, but I switched albums up. Last time I'm using The Love, this time the one I'm using is called Impossible World, I think. I'm liking this, this set of tracks. Yeah, well that's actually what I'm eating here. <laughs> Pumpkin pie is equivalent to beef, I think. It's uh, pretty good. Um, the farmers sell it for one emerald for, I think, four or five. So I use that to level it up, level them up pretty quick. So, what am I doing? So pump our farmers only buy whole melons, which you get from putting a full grid of melons down. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, because farmers will buy will buy four at a time melons. Here, I'll put these back. I'll put these in the food chests. Um, so if we head over to where we've got um, we'll we'll come back to the kidnapped farmers soon. But we're gonna head to the actual farm where all the uh, this is my original home base, as it were. As you can see, my fields are quite extensive to my pleasure. I plan on extending these even farther. You know, that's what, that's what I might do today. It's just extend my fields all the way over to the village. <laughs> um. But yeah, there's lots of villagers in this town. Especially multiple farmers. And there's three farmers here. Which that guy's level one, so I need to... Uh, Level him up. Let's see, these guys sell stacks of four at a time. 
Um, the only issue is, uh, if you see how it, the relation here, it's potatoes to radishes are generally slightly less efficient. It's also just because I was too lazy and all, all I had in my inventory were radishes. There we go. He's also a suspicious stew. So if we recall, there was four large oak trees as sticks to the Fletcher gave me about 30 sticks or 30 emeralds for three and a half stacks of wood. Whereas those melons gave me 24 from t a little bit under two stacks of melons. Um, if, if you aren't convinced of my commitment to the farm, um, you can turn wheat into hay bales in the same way as you, I did with the melons. So I've made myself a little pyramid. There's some pillagers over there I will go and kill. But first, I have to go milk a cow. Because when you kill the guy with a banner, he gives you a debuff that makes it so if you go near villagers, a raid will happen. And I'm not super confident in my ability to defeat a raid. I've never done one before, so I don't know how bad they are. But I know that if you drink milk, it gets rid of whatever debuffs you have on you, including the raid banner debuff. Let me equip my shield so I can block their crossbow shots. So I've got the debuff here. I don't know how to look at it, but... And poof, it's gone. Just like that. So... Pillagers have been dealt with. And in the time I was doing that, um, as you can see, the melons are already starting to come back in. So I think melons and pumpkins are actually pretty efficient ways of getting emeralds out of uh, villagers. I'm gonna go... The rest in the villager hut. Me and you buy my buy my melons. There we go. He bought all the melons, and we'll take a nap. I cannot when monsters are nearby. What monsters are nearby? Whatever. I know my house is probably generally free of monsters. I need to build a new house. This house is as fun as it was. Just kind of make a bad house intentionally. I need to build a nice house. What do I need to do? Um, what was it? Oh, not throwing my axe on the floor would be a good start. This is, uh, Andreas is one of the VTubers who stops by this server very often. <laughs> and, uh, I like to hang all the pillager banners on his house. <laughs> He's got a lot. Yeah, well, I think what the why we have so many is because the different um, having beds open for them means that they can. Uh, oh, welcome, Bubbles. <laughs> Come back to this. Oh no, are you being bullied? <laughs> All right. Let me go look. <laughs> nope, not what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, you're you're almost an adult. You're older than them. You tell them what to do, right?
Whoa. No! Oh no. My beautiful pumpkins. Defeated by a creeper. Okay, this song is not really what I expected it to be, but like, hey, whatevs. If it works, it works. Yeah. Oh man, creeper. Is that is that the phrase or is it creeper? Oh man. I'm not I'm not familiar with my Minecraft memes enough to know. What the hell is for sale. He sells flowers. Bucket of tropical fish. I don't, I don't know if that's worth it, chief. Hey, you farmer. Uh, you don't buy pumpkins. Other farmer. You. No, you're the cleric. You buy pumpkins. Alright. So, harvesting the melons and the, uh,. Pumpkins gave me a total of 50 odd emeralds. That's not too bad. Not a bad call, dude. Not a bad call. What games are you downloading? I bought a few new ones today to hopefully stream pretty soon. I got um one called Skull the Hero Slayer. You heard of that one? I think I had to re-download it in the middle of uh, Ace Combat 7. So I've never played that before, but I felt like it would be a good stream game.
So, um, one thing you'll note is anyone who, uh... Oh, you have to see to... Oh, that's awful. Yeah, that sucks, man. I swear I was trying to thought, but then I heard about your SSD, and now I, now I don't know what to talk about. Um, oh yeah, I was thinking. Um, sometimes I, when I'm streaming various games, one of the games I was streaming recently was Cyberpunk 2077. Um, but I'm starting to feel the tedium of streaming that constantly. So what I might do if uh, next time I play it, I'll probably be doing like story missions. So I'll probably, I took that one off the sort of stream schedule for this week and I'm replacing that with the Ace Combat that I downloaded. <laughs> Hope everyone who's here is enjoying uh, Farming Simulator Minecraft Edition. There's something satisfying about breaking the crops in those huge swaths. Like that. Just seeing the carrots fly out and hearing that audio bit. The guys at Mojang really knew what they were doing when they made that noise. Um, honestly, if you have a decent enough PC, Cyberpunk is definitely worth a purchase. Um, if you like that style of games. The issues aren't actually all that bad, at least in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, they're definitely there. Um, and they definitely do stop the gameplay sometimes. But I find there's, the game's definitely worth playing. Yeah, fair enough. Um, oh yeah, and on the topic of Bugs Bunny Crimson, um, a lot of people don't know this, but, uh, the whole rabbits eating carrots thing is actually specific to Bugs Bunny. Before then, there was no stereotype about carrots being the specific rabbit food. Um, and the reason why he does a ca has a carrot is because he's modeled after a, um, comedian who would, uh, around the same time, who would speak with a cigar in his mouth and that kind of... Um, like, New york -y accent. And the carrot was the family-friendly way to do that. At least that was what I was told when I was hearing about this. So I think this is a cool kind of trivia piece to know, but, uh... It is Bugs Bunny who loves carrots, not rabbits as a whole. Although, of course, it's become so popular at this rate, and since... Bunnies still do like carrots as much as any other vegetable. It's still a fairly popular food to give them, and the stereotype exists, so... Hey, what can you do, right? Okay. <laughs> there we go. And as you can see, it took me an entire daytime cycle to get through part of my carrot farm. Honestly, I wanted to have enough emeralds that I could, uh, have a few suits of magical armor made, because, um, one of our armorers sells, uh, magical diamond armor, but there's, it's pretty expensive. It's, like, almost, I think it's more than a whole stack of emeralds for one suit. 
So my first plan was just to make that, but then I figured I, I might as well make some extra so we can buy things like arrows or... Um, like, there's a uh, really nice, I think, uh, one of the clerics in the house has, like, a mending tome for sale. And there's also experience potions from the cleric. So emeralds are just all around, I think, fairly useful to have. Here we go. Got some carrots. Let's go, uh, let's go hit up our, uh, farmer's, farmer's market cycle. Um, I'm also gonna stop by and grab some beets along the way. Just enough to fill up my inventory here, because, uh, there's a little farmer in the village up ahead who only buys beets and sells bread, so, like, I want to level him up so he might start having other things to do. That should probably be enough. I don't know. I don't remember how much he needed per uh, sale. That should be plenty. The only thing I'm not a fan of beets is their food is uh, pretty inconvenient to stack because it's like the soup. Okay, well. That should level you up, right? Level up. There we go. He buys pumpkins. That's good. carrots? You do not buy carrots. What a shame. Maybe you buy carrots. I know one of you bought carrots. No one buys carrots. Okay. I could have sworn one of these guys bought carrots, I guess. Oh, there's a fourth farmer over here. Alright. Do you buy carrots? No. No, they don't. No one in this town buys carrots. Wow. I'm a fool. What do I need these, all these carrots for if no one buys them? I'm sure one of the villagers in the villager house will want carrots at least. So my next plan is to get a um, enchanted fishing rod with mending so we can do a whole bunch of fishing as well. I think fishing is a pretty good way to get experience and loot. If you have the patience for it. There we go. You buy carrots. You're out of, you won't buy any more carrots. But you will. So you sell mending and piercing. You sell or no, whatever. You sell silk touch. Yeah. So I don't have to click for every emerald, but it's still fairly annoying. Um, especially because uh, uh for some reason my Minecraft doesn't display my cursor. If I'm in a menu. Like you guys can see it. But I can't see my cursor. I can only see which square I've got highlighted. So I have to look at my stream labs to see what I'm doing with my cursors. It's a little bit odd. Alright. So I should have enough emeralds now to go shopping.
Because this guy sells diamond leggings, diamond boots, diamond helmet, and diamond chest plate. Yeah, and that took me a little bit over a stack. Yeah, 2119 is 40, four, or 54 plus 32. Yeah. But I now have a full suit of diamond armor. There we go. Here. Armor chest, you can have my leftovers. And take my bow and arrows with me. I can go show off some of the other parts of my uh, cool little. Oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, a couple of my server members built a uh, experience farmer down over here um, by that shorter tower. Um, on the topic of the server having members, um, the server is currently in the Discord. If you are subscribed or another VTuber, everyone do collabs, um, you can get a link to the server. I'm letting a lot of people in, so think of that as a bit of an incentive if you ever want to play with us. Or if you already are one, uh, one of those, come on in. We'll be happy to see you. So there's a uh, couple of cave spider spawners down here. I'm gonna hop down here and pick up all the experience. So yeah, this is this is a pretty cool little place we've got going on down here. And there's another, what's the spawner over here? I sure hope nobody had that as their rest point. What is this one? This is another cave spider spawner? Yeah, it is. It's blocked off with torches, so it can't spawn any, though. Back at the farm area. Um, don't really have much to do while I'm out here. Now that I've got my armor, but um, I can work towards a couple projects. Like as you can see, I've got my cocoa wall over here that I'm happy with. Um, oh, one thing I've always been meaning to do is uh, go finish up my map. I've got a map of this uh, this area we're in. Um, it's just hanging on the wall here. The plan is actually to, uh, yeah, let me get some more food before I head out again. But I want to finish off this map, so. There we go. As you can see, it's got a pretty good area of coverage it's got, but I'm just trying to make sure I've got the whole thing filled out. Let me, it's getting darker. Yeah, the sun's going down. I'll, uh, kill the zombie pigment and put the single gold nugget away. Um, is there a way to make gold nuggets out of golden ingots? I wonder. Probably. I know I can make golden carrots, which would sell for a lot more than regular carrots at merchants. Um, not too sure how much more, though. Like, I don't know if it'd be efficient converting gold to nuggets just to make golden produce, right? So we're not doing too much exciting, like I said, I'm not feeling the greatest today, so I'm not really going to 
gonna start any massive projects or anything, but uh, I thought I could um, zip around and fill in my map while I'm running around doing nothing. It's actually a couple of um, gates full of gold I can stop by on the way back. Um, you actually see them on this map. Uh, if you look real close in the bottom left, there's a couple of red dots. Or the bottom right of the map, sorry. The bottom left of my screen. There's a couple of red dots that are um, incomplete portals that I didn't loot last time I was making my map. My inventory was full. There's some gold blocks there and stuff I could take. I could also probably mine the obsidian and everything if I wanted to. Hmm. I like seeing all the different biomes that Minecraft has. Just kind of exploring is fun to me. Walking around. Oh, okay. Um, walking around and just... Seeing how the world built itself is neat. You get some really cool, like, locations you wouldn't expect to see. Um, like, for example, we're coming up to it, uh, it'll be a little bit ahead and I think all the way across the water here. But there's, like, a forest of, va of like, a valley of flowers, which is super neat. <laughs> Fair enough. That is, uh... A fair enough trade, right? Yeah. Mandatory hairstyles are never the most fun. I understand um, the point of mandatory hairstyles and like things like uniforms and stuff. I just don't really want to subject myself to it. I value my individualism a bit too much. Not that I do anything unique with it, it's just to have the freedom matters to me. I don't remember this building being up here. Is this a village, or is this... I think that's a village, but if someone built a house up there, that's pretty cool. Although I know that looks a lot like it would be a village, so... Up we go. Just take a look. Yeah, this is a village. That's a library, I think, right? Yeah. You sell Impaling 5? I don't... I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I understand. Yes, for sure. Um, employment over small matters of personal freedom is definitely a good, good way to take it. I cannot argue that at all. You're a mason. Hmm. I'm rather lucky that the place that I uh, employed at doesn't really require much of me in the way of uniform or anything like that. 
Although, stable's a word I wouldn't necessarily use for it. Not all the lava, just enough to make running over that hill safe. Oh, you know what I could probably do while I'm on this? Is I can set it up like, uh... I can use my overlay that I've got. Takes away a little bit of the screen, looks nice, lets you show people who followed recently and all that jazz. Minecraft's not the most visually intensive game. Nice and pretty blue flowers out here in the swamp. Bit of a surprise. I'm excited for this week of streaming. It should be a good one. I've got a break day tomorrow, which I'll be using to its fullest, but um, coming up Wednesday, I've got a kind of surprise um, plan. I'm going to be playing a with one of the one of my VTuber family members. Now, being a VTuber means I had to go and buy art from someone to, you know, have my model move and all that stuff, so uh, what you call a family is people who have the same artist would be considered siblings. So my character is sibling with a group of other people who are all made by the same artist. So we've, we've made a pretty good community amongst us and we're all kind of friends, so I'll be playing some video games with one of them if you want to get to know any of them. I played Pummel Party with them last Wednesday, but uh... We're going to play some fighting games and a game called Golden Light, which is supposed to be like a first-person shooter roguelike game where you fight machinery made of meat, and it sounds pretty interesting, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. That'll be a couple coming on Wednesday. 